Clouds and patchy fog tonight. Wet roads refreezing as we drop down to 28. Watch for those slick spots on the roadways. Uh, Nadine and I are out driving late at night for the 11 o'clock news and know how quickly those wet roads get slick and uh, expect it be a very tricky commute tomorrow morning uh, with the icy roads, especially with some fog in the morning, fog freezing to the roadways as well. Then we should manage some sunshine in the afternoon, a high temperature of 36 degrees up above freezing again, although not as warm as it has been the past couple of days. We've made it into lower 30 or 40s rather in Spokane. 40 are high today and we started the day off officially above freezing. It may have gotten below freezing uh, at your house. It certainly did at mine and the roadways were below uh, freezing. When I checked the roads last night, they were already at 30 and 32 degrees. 39 right now in Spokane with partly cloudy skies. It's 38 right now in Coeur d'Alene with clear conditions. Temperature trend over the next seven days. Average is the white line. We're above average, a little bit above, a little bit below, a little bit above. And then we fall off the cliff again next week into well below average temperatures and should be staying below freezing uh, starting late in the day Sunday and continuing through the middle of the week adding a little bit of precipitation to the picture. We've got some isolated mountain snow showers right now. Those will continue tonight as well as tomorrow. On a big picture scale, we have a very active southern branch of the jet stream. That's where most of the energy is going off of the Pacific. Here's our 24 hour forecast and uh, one system moving off to the east. The next system coming off the Pacific is taking almost all of the energy, not only in into California, but Southern California. There's our jet right there. And we are just on the northern fringe of the action. That is going to promote some mountain showers. And with that big dip in the air jet stream, we are going to continue to see the cooler air pouring in. So tonight, overnight lows will be down in the 20s and 30s. We'll be below freezing in most locations. Highs tomorrow, I'm really rooting for you, Moses Lake, to make it into the mid 30s. I know you'd like to uh, melt some of that snow and uh, ice across the region 40 in Lewiston 37 in Spokane Valley and 36 in Coeur d'Alene then we cool off a little bit Saturday with a chance of snow slight chance a better chance of wet weather on Sunday in both the form of rain and snow and then we're gonna freeze it all up again starting Ooh. Monday it looks like next week may be a bit gray and foggy with overnight lows down in the teens and highs in the 20s we've had worse we have had worse. There's, it's always worse, right? Yeah. I mean, until you break a record. We haven't done that. No, we have not. Okay. <laughs> we have not broken any records. All right. Thanks a lot, Chris.